Hello, Employment Strategy students, and welcome to week two. This week, we're going to continue easing our way into the course as we cover topics related to effectively promoting your skills and researching a career. Let's take a look at the assignments that are due this week. The first assignment is participating in the discussion forum. When applying for a job, many applicants get frustrated when they see a job that requires one to two years of experience. But how are recently graduated college students supposed to gain relevant work experience if they've been taking college courses for the last several years? The video embedded in this week's discussion prompt highlights how someone who majored in biology effectively promoted his skills to get hired for a somewhat unrelated job at a tech company that I think many of you are familiar with. You will first need to watch the video and your initial post will be answering the reflection questions that are included in the prompt. This post to the forum must be at least 75 words in length and is due Thursday before midnight. Your second and third posts will be responses to your fellow classmates in the forum. Your responses must also be at least 75 words in length and are due Sunday before midnight. The second assignment is the career research paper. For this assignment, you will research the education, experience, and skills that are required for a job or career that you're interested in learning about. Gathering this information will especially be useful for the resume and cover letter assignments that you'll be working on in the coming weeks. You need to use the ONET Online Occupation Search website to do your research, and I included the link for the website in the Week 2 content folder. Also, make sure you download the instructions for the assignment before you begin your research, because it includes instructions on how to navigate the ONET website. The job or career that you research can be done one of two ways. The first option is to research a job that you would currently like to apply for, even if you haven't earned a degree yet. For example, if you're currently working at Chipotle and would like to apply for a job as a bank teller, use this assignment to research the education, experience, and skills needed to be a bank teller. The second option is to research a career you'd like to pursue after you earn your certificate, associate degree, or bachelor's degree. For example, if you're about to earn your associate degree in nursing, you can use this assignment to research the skills needed to be a registered nurse. If your long-term goal is to transfer from Lakeland and earn a bachelor's degree in something like accounting, you can use this assignment to research the qualifications needed to be an accountant. Regardless of the option you choose, the information you gather from this assignment will be critical to your upcoming resume and cover letter assignments. Once you gather the information about the job or career that you researched, you'll need to write a two-paragraph paper that includes a summary and reflection of the information you found. Your career research paper should be at least 300 words in length and must be uploaded as a Microsoft Word document or PDF attachment. When you're ready to submit your paper, simply click on the title of the assignment, scroll down to the Submission Assignment section, and then select Browse Local Files. This will allow you to select your assignment from your files so you can upload it to Blackboard. If you don't have Microsoft Office already, you can download it for free because you're a Lakeland student. Below this assignment, I posted step-by-step -step instructions on how to download Microsoft Office for free via your My Lakeland student portal. Your career research paper is due Sunday before midnight. If you have any questions or want to chat about how the class is going, feel free to email me at ramster at lakelandcc.edu. You can also email me by clicking on the email instructor link in the Blackboard course site. To check your progress with this course, Blackboard has a My Grades link under the Course Materials section. When your grade has a speech balloon next to it, you will be able to see some feedback I provided on your work. That's all for now. I'll see you next week as we begin to dive into content related to developing your resume. Have a great week!